In case we haven't met before, my name is Sandra Gatman. What just happened? People in the news are mentioning nuclear war. What message do you think the Ukrainian people, or maybe you yourself, have for people in Russia right Ukraine? now? It's tough. A lot of Iranian fans do want to speak to us, but not on camera. So I think we're going to keep some of our interviews anonymous. What did you think when your team were silent during the national anthem? Yeah, we are so happy. So we're going to hit the streets of Lucille and ask people one question. Who is the greatest football player of all time? Missy. We went to Afghanistan to film an explainer. Let's talk about Afghanistan. About what life is like under the Taliban one year on. We traveled a lot by car, which would have been really dangerous a year ago. We just got back from Afghanistan where we explored the issue of women's rights. Here are three things that really struck me. The first one sounds kind of obvious, but it's often forgotten in a lot of media coverage. Afghan women, like in any country, aren't this big monolith. Every individual has her own take on things. Tafsir, for example, wants Islamic law in Afghanistan, but doesn't support the Taliban's new restrictions for women. This is her on Afghan TV debating with the Taliban. Why do Japanese football fans clean up after matches? It's very unique and people oh, love it. Our house is clean, so stand must be clean. Atarimai <laughs> is the best word ever. So my producer Adele and I are just chatting about this over lunch. We both have a connection to Japan. I was born and raised there. And I'm half Japanese. And we have thoughts. The sportsmanship the Japanese show at big tournaments like this goes beyond just picking up trash, right? It's this camaraderie on the pitch. What's the deal with protests inside stadiums at the World Cup? I'm talking about what people have and haven't been allowed to take into the stands. Things like rainbow items, Iranian protest material, and free Palestine banners. There's a lot of confusion. So what's going on? Well, FIFA has rules about what people are allowed to bring in the stadiums. Here's a list of prohibited items. It includes items with political, offensive, or discriminatory messages. This is someone who was killed in the protests? Yes, yes, yes. What's her name? Nika. Nika. Yeah. No one stopped you? No, no. I've been bringing you stories off the pitch. So I figured at this point, you might have some questions. Do you boys have any questions? Who will come in the finals? <gasps> the same question. Who would be the winner? So type your questions in the comments section below, and I'll address them in our next video. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>